great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maiden's tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring Mine is. <laughs> in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. It's mine. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Well, I'm still hungry, damn it. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go meet Javik and Ashley for a quick bone session. And I'm talking to Ashley, not Javik. And then finally we'll go back and And yeah, and then we'll invite the party. I don't know, should I invite everybody or just a small handful? I think I should invite everyone and just have like a like Join nuts. Shore leave Javik. I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Commander Shepard, I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Oh my god. You can god. play yourself. Attention, the Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. What are we doing? And action. Commander Shepard. Thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. <laughs> ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean, no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. <laughs> this one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. <laughs> Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditories. Uh, actually, that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. <laughs> I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. 
But you are not an ultra spectrum. Whoa! 7, Deluxe. This one is a 7,000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. The cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Oh my god. He's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double. <laughs> your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now. Oh no, the Vorta counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. <laughs> this one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? <laughs> Strike the sound. Telecasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. Oh my god, that was horrible. This one insists. This one doesn't give a shit. <laughs> that was funny. And those were all, like, Paragon things. Alright, let's go in there and talk to... Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Alright, where is Ashley? She's... Or what are we doing, Ashley and I? No Yo, I'm a hustler. And a hustlem. God damn it, where am I gonna find her? Oh, she's at the bar. Right, she's not in the casino. My apologies. Forgot about that. We're drinking, we're not gambling we're not out gambling each other I'm looking for a lieutenant Williams thanks hey girl there you are ready to see who's the real specter and who's the pretender whatever you say Williams line them up <laughs> that's what I like to hear Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. <laughs> uh huh. Glamorous and beautiful superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry, as pretender, next. What's this? The great and powerful Commander Shepard can't keep up? I should have taken I the drink. Destroy your fragile ego, Williams. Sometimes you just gotta let the underdog have its day. Cut the crap, Commander. You know, Williams, I can think of a few other ways to test your endurance. My shepherd? What kind of girl do you think I am? Cheap and easy? <laughs> hey, my friend doesn't like alliance types. Oh, this is but Star Wars! We're right in the middle of something. This is like a Star Wars reference. I don't like alliance types. It is! <laughs> Rain check? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty sick. We almost got to bang. Well, we do later, but that's already been done. Anyway, I think we are done here, and we can kick this party off and have a fucking, like, it's gonna be like some Project X type shit, man. You throw a midget in an oven and, you know, that sort of thing. Because I can just invite my clo- invite- invite- invite the close- the people we know the most, and then go from there. Or I can invite everybody I know. 
And I think we should invite everybody we know. I think, yeah, that's going to be the goal. Let me just see something. No, I found everybody. I can't wait for this. This is going to be a great way to go out. And then technically, since all these DLCs changed the ending, uh, makes me wonder if I should go in and redo the ending to see how it is. Know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. See how we do it. Since this is the last story-based DLC. Alright, let's go. We're done. Oh, unless there's more messages and I have to go back and forth again. Oh my god, there is. Yeah. Alright. Shit, there's more, man. No problem with that. Receive a calm call from council. Like to hold what humans call a memorial, sir. Where it is, does hell does not matter. I'd like you to be there as well as those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services people speak well of the dead. Uh, it seems appropriate for you to conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous. I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of. That means a great deal. Who's this from? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Creos. Oh, his dad. Right. That'd be a good idea. Combat. I hear the Silver Sun Strip has a place combat simulator, and I feel feel like kicking the crack out of blah, 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 blah. kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. Drinks. Let me check out the bar scene. That's from Garrus. All work and no play. I'm taking a shuttle down the Silver Sun Strip. My God, man! So I got to do this with everybody. I didn't think this was gonna be that long, but oops. So I'm gonna call up some people. We'll, we'll Liara first. Hopefully she's in for some uh, blue boning. <laughs> I love how all, ro all roads lead to that. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Hmm. Oh, she's still here. This place is nice. Shall I try? 
transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Shepard. Alright, we're done there. Who else can we invite up? I wonder if Buddy's still working the speed bag. Well, not the speed bag, the heavy bag. Alright, we haven't heard from this guy in a long time, so this should be different. I remember we had that DLC in Mass Effect 2. I think it was in Mass Effect 2. To honor the life of Thane Krios. Look, it's Samara, everybody. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin, and we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important, but let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously. A trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, 
And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. I remember we were chasing him down. That was a long time ago. No, that wasn't a DLC. That was uh, his loyalty mission. That's right, in, in Mass Effect 2. That was the Thane's loyalty mission. Anyway, we have more messages to check. God, there's so much backstory in this thing, isn't there? Slow motion! Oh, God damn it. It's annoying. Oh, wait, no, I already read everything, right? That's right, okay. That was it for, uh, yeah, inviting up. So, let's go back down and say what's up to the peeps. And hopefully that'll be it. I think that should be. Although it's probably going to want me to talk to Samara and a few others. But we'll see. Hurry up, sir. I could have cut so much time if I had just checked those emails first. But I didn't even know. So it can't be, I can't be blamed. Okay. Ah. Alright, Cortez. He's right here, so we'll do it. It's like one final send-off before they go into the battle. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. Strip club? I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah. Here, feel this. Whoa. That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. 